everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be doing a bookshelf tour. I only have one bookshelf so it's really not like the most fancy setup <laughs> on booktube but I had a lot of fun like organizing it, sort of curating my book collection and I wanted to show off my beautiful bookshelf. I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you're doing well and if you like this video give it a thumbs up. Above this shelf we have this stack of Maggie Steve water books. Um, that's just where they live. So that's where they are. And then below that this is the top shelf. This is all like my like my pretty books, right? Like <laughs> I have this beautiful Jane Austen Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Um, I have this Hobbit illustrated edition that I got for $1.50 at the thrift store and then I've got some Calvin and Hobbes comics which are just so beautiful. I love Calvin and Hobbes so much and I used to read them all the time when I was in uh, third grade so they just remind me of my childhood. Then I have The Lord of the Rings. I love this edition of The Lord of the Rings because I feel like Tolkien wanted to publish the books like originally in one volume so I feel like this is how this is how he would have wanted people to read the books so it makes me happy to have this edition. Next to that I've got my comic books these are all like the singles that I buy that you can get from like the comic store that are like three dollars. I've got a nice thick stack of them and I like to keep the plastic around them because otherwise they get uh, they get damaged really easily. The Slow Regard of the Silent Things is not technically a graphic novel, but I have it here because it has it has it has illustrations, so it fits the criteria enough for me. Oh, and these are my journals. Um, I might move them. I don't know, but I kind of like them there. They are the story of my life, so to speak. <laughs> Um, so I, I keep them there, I guess. Then below that shelf, this is like my favorites shelf, I guess you could say. These are all like books that were extremely significant to me. Um, obviously the entire Wheel of Time and my one random hard copy. For some reason I got Knife of Dreams as a hardcover. Um, even though all my other books are mass market paperback. And my copy of The Great Hunt is actually like in two pieces. You know, it looks fine when it's on the shelf, so for now it's okay. Eventually one day I will get like hardcovers of all of them, but not today. Uh, I also have The Name of the Wind, A Wizard of Earth Sea. These two are like symbolically my copies of Realm of the Elderlings because I have a lot of them as ebooks and eventually I want to get Again, I want to get like all hardcovers. Um, I have the I have one of the illustrated editions, but eventually I want to get all of them and then have them all beautiful. But for now, these are my symbolic copies. I've got Dune. This is my symbolic copy of Discworld, I guess you could say. And then I have Ella Enchanted uh, and A Wrinkle of, in Time. Both of these books are like very were very formative for me, so I like having them there. And then I have this beautiful copy of Seasons of Albedon, which just looks- I love the cover for it, so it's the only book that I have facing out like this, but it's so beautiful, it totally deserves it. Um, oh, before I forget, this is my beautiful portrait done by Clara and Rachel. I will link their Twitter in the description if you want to go follow them. They drew this for me for my booktube birthday, and it's just- I love it so much. It's like a little mushroom hut with a bunch of bees and like frogs. There's a bunch of hidden frogs everywhere. There's one in the in the window. It's so cute. I love it so much. So yeah, I have it right next to my bookshelf. Below my favorites shelf, this is like, it's kind of like a TBR shelf, but also not really. It's like, this is like my series in, like series in progress. So like Stormlight, I'm in the middle of Stormlight. Um, I have, two other Malazan books, but I'm currently- I'm gonna maybe make a vi another video on Memories of Ice, and then I'm currently reading House of Chains, so I I took them out so that that space is empty for now. And then I have The Lies of Lakwamora and the second book that I didn't really like very much. I really have no plans on returning to this series because it's not finished and like it doesn't seem like it's gonna be finished anytime soon so it's not a priority. I have this nice stack of blue books 
and Miss Porn too. As you can see, I really am not a very, I really don't care about what books look like and I'm not very picky about buying used books, so my bookshelves just look pretty wild all the time. Oh, and I have this Himalayan salt lamp because it's just, the vibes are just so good. I love having this lamp. It makes me feel calm. So below this like series, I'm in the middle of shelf is like my TBR shelf, I guess you could say. Um, I've read none of these books. I've had Infinite Jest for like over a decade at this point. It somehow survived every round of donations that I've done up until now. Will I ever actually read Infinite Jest? Who knows? Probably not, but I like to think that I will. Aside from Infinite Jest, all of these are books that I'm eventually really excited to read. And then this is the bottom shelf. These are books that I have read. Like I've read The Magicians. Um, I've read Normal People, Gone Girl, a random Artemis Fowl graphic novel that I didn't get rid of. Oh, and then Cryptonomicon, which is like one of the weirdest books I've ever read. How to watch a movie and how to read literature. These are actually really good books if you're looking to like think more critically about the media that you consume. I would highly recommend those two as like a starting point. This bottom shelf is just like the catch-all for like weird books that I didn't want to get rid of, but also like are not, I'm not like super attached to emotionally. So I'm fine with like putting them on, on the bottom shelf. Oh, I have this copy of the Fader magazine with Zayn Malik on it, uh, just cause he is really hot. <laughs> And yeah, that is my bookshelf. I hope you enjoyed this very quick and dirty bookshelf tour, um, and I will catch you in the next video. Take care!